fried dumpling in the air fryer. Welcome back to the channel guys. Recently I put out a video talking about removing the fog out of our lives. You know them foggy areas there where we can't function at our fullest? All right. And I mentioned that a part of it, for me, a lot of it had to do with the way that I eat, the things that I eat and overindulge in. But anyway, with that in mind, this video is about making fried dumpling a different way. We know what's a fried dumpling, but it's not gonna be fried. You understand me? Because we're, we're of a certain age and we're trying to live a little healthier, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I love my fried dumpling. Yes, love my fried dumpling. But I've been trying to stay away from the wheat flour and the oil as much as possible. You know, sometimes, yeah, you're gonna have your thing and I only saw it make and yeah. But for the most part, I want to be on the healthier side of things. So, <clears throat> I tried this one time before and it came out well. So I'm gonna do it for you now today. I'm going to make fried dumpling in the air fryer. So it's actually gonna be baked dumpling. Cause you know the air fryer really just bake things or roast things, something like that. So yeah, no oil, but yet I'm going to have a decent look of fried dumpling. I'm okay, I'll be good. We have a return of mine. Come with me so I can show you how I do this fried dumpling. Okay guys, so the ingredients for the fried dumpling, the so-called fried dumpling, will be oat flour. Uh, so this is gluten-free oat flour with some baking powder and some salt in it. So you put as much, um, I'm not going to give you measurements, but when we're making fried dumpling, we usually put some baking powder and some salt in it, depending on your taste and depending on how fluffy you want it. All right. So in this, we have the oat flour baking powder and a little bit of salt already mixed in okay so this is my bowl i'm gonna mix in let's see i'm gonna be using all of this i'm just gonna use uh, probably about this right yeah okay that's my thing now for your water that you're gonna use to mix this i put a little bit of honey in it and then when i say a little bit i mean a little bit of honey just enough to cook what we in Jamaica say to brackish it. Just so that it doesn't taste like plain water. So there's a little bit of honey in, in here, in my mixture here. And I'm just going to use it to saturate this thing. And with flour, if you haven't done this before, when you're making a dough, you have to add your liquid a little at a time so it doesn't get too soggy. But if it does get too soggy, you can always add some more flour. So that's why it's good to have some left back, you know. In Jamaica, I tell you, sometimes you have a little bit of flour and you're going to cook. And you, you put all of it in your little mixing bowl, you know. And then when you pour your water on it, the water get away. And the flour make it, make it. And the dumpling spoil. Your dough will be what we call spoiled. Right? The dough. That means it's too soft. You can't really form it in dumplings. Why? You don't know what to do at that point, eh? Maybe you just have to go throw some extra water on it and make fritters. <laughs> well, right now, this is it. And one of the things with oat uh, flour that I've learned is that it dries out very quickly. It soaks up the, the liquid. So this is a little bit on the soft side to make a dumpling, but give it one minute or so, and it dries out more. Yeah, dries out very quickly. So you don't have to fret. You don't have to give it longer time. The more soggy it gets, if you don't have any more flour to put on it, or if you don't want to put any more flour on it, because this doesn't call for me to really put any more flour on it. If you don't want to put, just give it a, a few minutes, a minute, two, something like that. And depending on how wet it was, 
and then it dries out by itself see this is coming in real nice not too dry yeah man and if you're wondering i usually use a spoon for this part of it the next thing you're wondering why am i using gloves because it sticks to my hands and i don't like that so hence the gloves all right so this is my my dough is nice now so now i'm gonna pick it up and just introduce it to my hands see that yeah man yeah this is this is good it's not too hard and like i tell you oat flour dries out quickly anytime you're doing anything you know preparing food make sure your table your area is clean if you can it's not clean unless you if you can't lick it it's not clean so you, you should be able to lick your counter that's how clean you must keep it all right so when anything falls on it you can pick it back up because it's like a plate it's ready it's clean all right so this is it so now before i put make my dumplings which i have to move quickly so this doesn't dry out too quickly now right this is the, one of the racks for the air fryer and i am going to just put this on it and just so it doesn't stick i'm gonna just put a little bit of olive oil on it right i'm gonna brush on a little bit of olive oil so just a little smidge it and just spread that all around this um this tray that we have here all right just on top of the foil all right that's it and olive oil is good for you but of course it's still you're still watching the amount of oil right that is the main purpose for making for making the fried dumplings this way don't talk to me my dumpling pretty it pretty bored right there okay Noise, my noise, noise, my noise. Probably get about six out of this, seems like. Right? Just another fun way to consume oats. Another way of consuming the healthy oat product. Talking about product, I have a product. I just need to get the website going so that I can release it to the public, you know. But I have worked long and hard on it and that product is ready. I'm going to give it a sneak peek of that product soon, all right. So for this air fryer, I'm going to set it at 300. It's at 370 now. I'm going to go down to 300. So I don't want it to dry out or burn too quickly. Okay, so 300. And I'm going to set it for... Um, mm, let's do 25 minutes. I don't remember what I did the first time. But I'm going to do 300 for 25 minutes. And we go from there. air fryer well used in you know, the people well used so i put it in the middle rack for my dumpling them dumpling them pretty them pretty them pretty okay <laughs> control yourself janice so that's doing its thing and i said 25 minutes i'm going to exercise okay guys so the product i was telling you about this is one of the flavors so my company is barefoot eats and treats so the first set of snacks from Barefoot Eats and Treats are rounds, right? Maybe because they're round, we made them round. Um, and so now I have three flavors. So I have the cranberry round, the banana round, and the honey ginger round. All right, so right now, these are the three thus far. I want to set up the website. I'm in the process of getting that done. As soon as that's done, then I can, you know, release it to the public. So people will be able to order and you guys will be able to taste 
So it's really a healthy snack. It's oatmeal based, right? So oat flour is the base for, for these oat flour and honey. Instead of sugar, I have chosen to use honey. And instead of wheat flour, I've chosen to use the gluten-free um, oat flour. And so that being the base of it, then we add cranberry for the cranberry um, flavored one. And then um, banana. This was the banana flavored one was inspired by one of my sisters. And she said, Janice, the banana would be very good, man. My sister Den Den, pick up yourself. Yes, and guess what? The thing shot, thing work, thing tastes good. Them love it. Many other people telling me, oh yeah, man, the boy can't even decide now. One time it was the cranberry was my favorite. Now it's the banana. Well, first it was the ginger. So people are loving it for um, friends and family members and, you know, people that we come across have been supporting the business and stuff. So when the online situation is sorted out, of course, I'll let you guys have the information. But, but it's a healthy alternative. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're talking about the low in salt, absolutely no cholesterol because there's no oil or grease, butter or anything in these things. But yet still they're tasty. That's the goal, right? I'll tell you more about it as we get a little further in, in setting up that aspect of the business. All right. But for now, the dumplings are in the air fryer. And I am going to do a half an hour workout. How about that? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Guys, I changed my mind. I'm going to, um, I'm not going to work out right now because I need to fix something to eat with my dumpling. I don't know why I'm going to forget about that. So anyway, I'm going to fix some ackee. And it's in the can because we're not in Jamaica where we can pick it off the trees. <laughs> But we're still grateful. So I'm gonna fix my key in the meantime when the dumpling I do its thing. So come back. Okay guys, almost done. Almost done. So it's 300 degrees. For I started out with 25 minutes, but I knocked five minutes off of it. So it was actually 20 minutes. So when it got to 10 minutes, I had gone in and flipped them. And now this is the second 10 minutes that's coming to an end total of 20 minutes and we're gonna see how it came out I think that should be enough though all right off we go ah, they look nice in there so them don't burn up so nice they are not burnt at all so let's get this out of here hey them look decent all right Huh? Roast dumpling, turn up. Those of us in Jamaica who know about when we were younger, roasting dumpling. <laughs> Let's test. It's still kind of hot, so be careful if you are doing it. Kind of let them cool first before you actually touch them. But I'm eager to see the inside, you know? Let's look at this one. So if you look at it, there's no grease or anything. You realize that? Because we didn't use any... Um, we didn't fry it right it's lighter now that it's baked and um, because that's what actually it did bake got baked so all right color look nice smells good and i am going to break it and see how the inside oh yes that's what the inside for look it looked like this the first time so let me try let me taste a little piece mm-hmm Twenty minutes, okay. Twenty minutes. I think depending on the thickness of how thick you made them, you might put a little longer time. So twenty minutes gave me this. Still edible, huh? Eh? But I think if you look at this, I could it could be dried out a little bit more. So I'm going to put it in for five more minutes. So maybe I was right the first time when I put it for 25 minutes. But I just want to be on the side of caution and not let it get burnt. But this is good, man. I'm getting the, there's a honey, honey flavor in. So I'm going to put it in for five more minutes and then come back. Okay. 
This is it. 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 Can you smell them? Woo! All right. I can just tell you, I don't even have to taste that. I know it's perfect. It's ready. Look, even the one that I broke kind of get crispy on the edges here. That's fine. All right, so now I'm going to plate it. Remember, I fixed some ackee, right? In the meantime, see me ackee day. The woolly for grease now run out to eat. I'm so trying to be good. So, all right, let's plate it. So, how much do you think I should give Paul? Technically, I started eating this one. Oh, a tree for tree now. My own business if him bigger or if him is a man or whatever. Me want tree dumpling. So, this was the one that I started on. So I'm going to plate. Plate my thing. And plate my thing. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, my want to look a piece. I want it. I want it. Put it like this. It still look nice. Right this so. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously speaking. This is so nice. Tastes good. But it's already so good. And I know it's going to be excellent with the Aki. You can do this. So, guys. What do you think? Come on, man. Try this. Gluten-free, cholesterol-free. All of that white flour carbs. Come on, man. Better for your digestive system. It's oatmeal. It's oat flour, you know. Yeah, you can blend up your own oats and make it oat flour. Give it a try because, like I said, when I try to fry the oat flour, to make fried dumpling it kind of soak up too much of the oil so hence air fryer yes guys i think i did well try this now try it if you can have aki even if it's not aki number one if you can have oats you can have oat flour products and this so-called fried dumpling which was actually baked in the air fryer was quick 25 minutes at 300 on the air fryer that I used. So depending on the air fryer that you're using, depending on the, the oven that you're using, because it could be baked too, or um, and also depending on how thick you make your dumplings will determine how long they take to be finished. Nice and crunchy, a little softness on the inside. I love it, bud, bud. Try it, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video and i'm trying we have to try we have to try and do health because right now even though this is ready i'm still going to do my half an hour workout yes